918 the time and time to talk winners and losers on Wall Street with financial expert Rob Black joining us this morning. Rob, on a day where it looks like we're negative across the board, not by a lot, uh, but we are uh, losing at the moment in terms of uh, the numbers. What do you think is driving all this? Yeah, it was a, a report from Friday's jobs report. Mm. It was strong, um, which may mean we continue to spend, which may mean inflation lingers. Um, we have an unemployment rate of 3.5%. Now, that's on one hand, that's bad news, uh, the inflation lingering. The good news is that we have jobs, so if there is a recession, we'll coast right through it. But again, Wall Street's kind of moody these days on which one it wants to see weakness in the economy or strength in the economy. Uh, Generation Z, this is interesting to note, in just 15 short years, they're the top savers in their 401k uh, as far as percentage of users. Now, what's interesting about this is the automatic enrollment is the reason. Um, some 60% of all employees at uh, jobs are opting in automatically into a 401k, which makes them the largest group of using 401ks. I think that's great. That's really, really good news. Um, GPT uh, chatbot 4 mm -hmm. passed the medical exam with a perfect score. <laughs> this brings up the question of, like, um, will doctors lose their jobs? Probably not. No. Right. What happens if it gets it wrong? What happens if it sees that little melanoma on me and says, you know, pass, it looks okay. Um, but it, the advances are pretty stunning, pretty fast, uh, James. Well, I'm hoping what it means is like, maybe I can go online, type in my symptoms and it can give me a better understanding and then refer me to a doctor or tell me you should see your doctor about this instead mm -hmm. of maybe diagnosing it itself. But I think it's fascinating though. No yeah. Thing? Yeah. I've got a, a, a meet and greet event coming up with some of my podcast listeners mm -hmm. and radio show listeners. And I wrote the whole copy of it using ChatGP that said, Marin, Sunshine, Brew, Talk Investments. And next thing you knew, it had five sentence paragraph and, and had it all ready for uh, whole me without that. actually having a copywriter do it. It was pretty yeah, neat. It's fascinating, man. This AI technology is going to speed up, I think, a lot of people's productivity. I also want to ask you about um, housing uh, market data because I see here... There's a headline, housing downturn coming to an end. Do you agree? What's behind this? Well, inside the numbers, it's pretty uh, alarming because they've said we've had a 5% correction in prices since the summer. Now, there's some markets that are really hot, like the Midwest and South. The West and Northeast, not as hot of housing markets. But inside this report, it said another 15% downside. Mortgage rates have kind of done their thing and stabilized now around 6.2%, 6.3%. So there's not a lot of shock on the upside there. We just need to go through a season where sellers don't get what they want and they mm -hmm. lower their price. Um, but I told you probably six months ago, I was planning to buy another home in 12 to 18 months to retire in. Right. And it's still the plan. I'd like to see prices come down a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm throwing this down there for people who look to the future. We're not in a free fall. And, um, you know, one of my neighbors thinks, you know, when's the housing going to stop falling? It's not a free fall. Um, it's, it's pretty coordinated. There's yeah. just not a lot of inventory right now, James. Okay. And then can I pick your brain a little bit about um, investing in uh, video game companies? We did the story the other day about EA announcing they were going to have layoffs. Is yeah. now a good time? What's, uh, talk to me about EA. What have you been thinking since that headline broke? Well, keep in mind, um, video games are a real investment. There's EA, there's Activision, there's Microsoft, there's Sony, uh, there's Take-Two. Take-Two's got a game called Grand Theft Auto. When the next version of it comes out, stock will roar because it pulls in billions and billions a year for 10 years in a row. Even the last version of the game 10 years ago is still a cash cow. So EA's got Sports FC, which is replacing EA FIFA uh, 2023. FIFA was a licensing that they had to do with the international body that cost about $150 million. So EA is just going to pocket that and market it. Mm. It could be profitable. The stock could get a pop here is what's expected. And they have another title coming out this month called um, Jedi Survivor. And the last um, Star Wars Jedi game that they had called Fallen Order yeah. sold 11 million units, 60 bucks a unit. That's $660 million odd dollars. It tells you it's as big as the movie theaters, like shows like Avatar and situations like that. So it's an interesting industry. I'm kind of waiting for uh, take two myself. I own shares of Activision because of Call of Duty and they're getting acquired by Microsoft. So mm. video games can be an investment. Mm. Um, but yeah, you are right. They are doing some downsizing at this point in time, like a lot of tech companies are okay. uh, coming out of COVID. All right. Well, I know my son's eagerly anticipating Jedi Survivor. He's been counting the days for its release. Rob, thank you as always. Let Thanks. Rob know if you've got a sector you'd like him to comment on or a story you'd like him to explore a little more deeply. Facebook, Twitter, you see his handles. Email him directly. He's always there. Rob at robblack.com.